from the bodyguard. Juice. And let's go start. Hi, um, Ore. Ore wa kon. I'm Khan. So, na, not tara. In hao, no. Yo chimbo wa ore no ho ni. Agami ko ni. Nebri ni wa. Iko e nai yo ni. Donashiku shitero. O. Kotayai te. Nigita. Kobushio. Ore ni yo kaiji ni. Act. Um, and this has Rendaka right here. Shingao rather than Kao. Shingao. Hi. Let's start with our first class. Ore wa kon to nanotara. Shingao. Shingao. Okay, so here Shingao no yo jimbo wa. Oni. Komi. So the verb here is kagami komi, komi to go Hi. into kagamu. Hi. Kagamu is to okay. kind of lean. So kagami komu is to lean into someone's space. Lean into. Okay. Ho ni. Ho is my direction, yeah? Hi. Ore no ho ni, my direction. So the new. The new, the the stranger that I haven't met, the Yojimbo, the Gar, he leans in, Agami call me, for my direction, or in a whole And But before that, he say, I am Kanto. Right. He's saying, when I gave my name, not that is to give to yep. raise up. Give your name. When I gave my name, the bodyguard he leans in. Hi. And then Neburi ni wa Oenai Yo ni. Yo ni referring to a this is not so neat. This is not like looking at something from the outside. Yoni. In a way, it can be used for that. Yoni, remember, it's for similes. It's a subjective simile, yes. If I subjectively think that something Hi. is similar to something. Else. Sounds right. It's not, a, it's not an observation. It's a simile. A simile. A simile. So, um, okay, what kind of yoni is it? It is a yoni that describes iko and nai. That's As a good in... guess. Well, well, I guess you're right. Never mind. It, it, it just, it just, yoni is not being used to describe kiko iru, kiko e nai is describing the yoni. So it's like the opposite. Because <laughs> uh, yoni ends with ni, so it's describing sasayaku. Ah, you're so right. You are so right. Okay, so it's describing the verb. So, sasayaite. Here's this verb I don't know. Nani? Sasayaku is to whisper. Yeah. Whisper. So, he whisper in what way? He whisper in a oenayo ni. He whisper as as if he cannot hear. As if who cannot hear? Huri. Hi. So yoni in a way has two uses. One use is similes. A second use can be in order to. 
And in general, the difference is basically context. Whether or not you'd say, in order for nobody not to listen, to not hear, he sasasakus, or describing his whispering as whispering as if to not allow nobody to hear. So both of those translations would be fine. This would depend on which you would prefer. Who's whispering? So, um, the Yojimbo. <laughs> So, so as not for nobody to hear, he leans in and he whispered. What did he say? He said, Tonashiku shitero. Otonashiku shitero. Otona, meaning a, an adult. Hi. Shiku is shikunai. Uh, no, 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 no. Shiku is the adjectival form of. Yes. Otonashi. Of this adult. So, uh, be an adult like. Right. Okay. Pero be an adult. Basically. Right? To do it. If you were directly translating it, a lot of times otonashi is more like to behave, even though literally we got otona from adult in here. So, but a lot of times it's like used to mean like behave yourself in here. Be, be a good kid. But. It it does it does come from behave like an adult, but it's not literally meaning that. If that makes any sense. Um, so obedient, be submissive. Be like the lamb. I don't know if you I So here the subject is koremiyo. Mm, it's no, not really a subject. A it's ending with a ni right here. Ni marks mm. nouns that are used to describe the verb da in this case, just like the yo ni over there, or this ni right here, ho ni. Ni is always kind of used to describe the verb in some way. So it's either like right here, it's describing in order for nobody not to hear or in order to lean in my direction, to whisper for something to happen, or to furu for uh, yogashi. But ni is an adverb marker for nouns. So kore mi yogashi. It's kind of its, its, its own thing that means showy. But it does come from this and me to show. So like showing this to mean like showy. So he makes a showy act by furuing his kobushi that he has nigitad. Is is he waving? Is he Hi. His furu is waving? Hi. Yes. He's shaking he and waving his, his fist. Nigit is nigitako. Bushi. His fist. His his fist. Nigita. Nigita is like a close, like a closing fist, right? Yes, that is Nigita what that would mean in this context. Hi. Bushi is the the is the fist. Hi. Hi. Um. Hi. Hi. Wakarimashita yo, ore wa chiri chiri to, sata. So, yes, I understand. I will, I will, I, I, suzata, meaning. It, it's um to retreat. In this case, he's like taking a couple steps back away from the Yoljin bolt. So he's like not directly in the line where his fist can hit him. And he jiri jiri as in he kind of shuffling. Yes. The shuffling kind of movement. Right. 
Like, and just so you know, when we have two highs like this, it feels a little bit like sarcastic. Hi, hi, wakarimashita yo. Is what it feels like rather than hi, hi. Because the two highs are right next to each other like that without any like periods or something. So it feels very hi, hi, wakarimashita yo. Is what it uh, feels yeah. like. Like, yeah, yeah, I get it already. It's kind of what the feeling behind it. Memory got two deck point. Oh, why all would we not? Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, never say, Rita Koi, follow me here. Um, follow me, attach to me and come. They will follow me. Um, Leo, Uri Naga, Naga. While he was putting, Hi. He Arukida Chi. So, Tuyo Furu is like mm -hmm. a set phrase that basically means to you have your stick. He's, he's depending on his cane, like Tayori. Leo Furu. Wow, leaning on the cane to walk, right? Aruku to walk. Right. Aruku. Da she is saying. Oh, sorry. I was wrong with the footy. It's uh, Tsuku. It's over that. In this case, he waves his cane as if to say, Tuite koi. Oh. Uri Nagara. While he was waving the cane. Right. Sorry about that. He walked. So why is the dashi here? What does that mean? Um the dasu? The dasu yeah. a lot of times it's used if someone paused and walking and then starts something is sometimes why you might use dasu rather than um Hajimeru. So Hajimeru feels like you just began it and you didn't pause it before. If you're talking about like a human doing a planned action. So if a human's planning an action and Dasu shows up, that just means they pause the action momentarily, which he paused in order to put his wallet in his um pocket somewhere. So that's why Dasu is here rather than Hajimeru. Dasu, Kirashi. Uh, that's only for brain actions. So dasu it will show up for as the default for um nature starting happens. Like um you would say furi furi dasu, right? If the rain was started to fall, you wouldn't say furi hajimiri really. I think so anyway. I don't know. I should probably Google that. Sounds right though. Yeah. Sounds like a good topic. Probably later. <laughs> Um, so Yojimbo ga ato ni Zuita. Right. The bodyguard, the bodyguard come, um, comes behind, follows behind. Right. He continues behind. Ukari no aiwa ni mimi o nagara. Ute, 
going to. The Taiwa. So now our subject is I, just letting you know. I con. Oh. Nimi o sumashi nagara. Sumash, sumash, suru, sumash. Is to perk up your ear, right? Basically, I listen in on something. I... While I was perking up my ears, sweet day, eat the, that sweet day, eat that. Uh, to sweet the ita is to sweet the iku. In other words, I I follow. Right. A, well, I follow away from the current location. Perfect. So as I was following, I was listening in on the kaiwa on the conversation of the two of them. Right. Ari no kaiwa. Me. Um. Dochira mo, but dochira referring to me or my direction. Mm, that's kochira with a ko. Ko means my direction. A means far away. So means toward the speaker. And do means like doko, where. Um, so mm. do kind of insinuates unknown information. So dochira. Is um the futari tomo. Hai. Dochira mo mean either one of them. Hai. Ko goe de. Sapete. Ite. And this ite is from the root. EU is. Hai. No, no. No, it's iru. Iru? iru. iru, to exist, is a iru verb. To exist. So That's how you know the difference the... between the iru verb iru and um, iku, right? Because iku and iu get the glottal stop. If there's no glottal stop, makes it a iru verb, which makes it iru, to exist. Iru. Iru. So, Mani, is this the present participle, meaning they are currently speaking with one Hi. another? Do you know why it's in te form? What does te form mark in the middle of sentences? They are speaking. Um, uh, that's the e part. It's a te. Why? Why is this in te form? Do you think? Versus like dictionary it's form. A, so it's the te form mark a conjunctions. So hi. Between two actions. Hi, hi, so hi. here it marks. The first action followed by the second action. Right. It is a. And. So here it say that either one of them, neither one of them, or uh, in other words, both of them, um, they converse in a hush hush voice. Um, yoku kikoenai. I cannot hear well. Perfect. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Te. That te is more like a soft because. Yes. Because they spoke in a hushed voice. I cannot hear well. Hi. And I can't hear either of them. <laughs> both of them. Both of them. Since both of them spoke in a soft voice. Hi. It's super soft. So like in English, you might say so or cause rather than saying and. To illustrate that meaning. Because because is too aggressive. Um, the place that we w went to before. Mm, that's a good guess. Saki can be used to refer to a past event. Um, a lot of times, though, you'll see it with a glottal stop with um, hiragana like saki. To make it more obvious, we're talking about a past events. A lot of times when you see the kanji, 
it tends to mean more like destination or somewhere like in front of you tends to be what it means like the tip word so in this case it is the ikituita saki meaning destination that you're well all together it's basically destination it is the uh destinated location that you are going to uh, attaching iki to this location so it's just this whole thing is destination basically Mane, you know how so is it possible to use iki sui iki sui iki tuku? not really it has to be in that in that platform even though it doesn't mean the so iki iki tuku is to arrive right it has um not on the kanji it's showing me it's the arrival tuku which it's is this guy it uses the past form but it's right. not meant it's, it doesn't referring to the past it simply uses the past form to modify the noun that comes after to say the place that we are going to arrive at that is a good guess but not really um this is a past tense sentence so the location the forward location that had been that that we arrived at is what it's saying here the forward location that we arrived at is or in this case was that um oh so, the, so the, the forward for, the location forward <laughs> that we that arrived, we arrived at. at so it's the future but it's all happened in the past this is a uh, past so tense uh, I think Iki, uh, I I don't think you'd use this for future tense. I think you'd use a different word. It's just the forward direction direction that we arrived at, which is used to make our destination was, or the place we ended up at. So saki is a lot like the word place here. It just it insinuates a place in front of you. <laughs> funny. So does this mean? Does this mean that they are not yet there yet? They're not they are, there they, yet. They they are there yet now. They they we we they just, just arrived. They have just arrived, yes. The play the location we just we, we arrived at. The place okay. we so arrived they, at. They, you gure yashiki that okay. So we arrive. This whole sentence say we arrive at the twilight mansions right the complex the yashiki Perfect. that's right. including the mansion itself Twilight the grounds. entire ground right. too the estate um, the estate the whole <laughs> complex um warumetto de motto mo akuna akai sujin no, itori. Akume takai. So rather than not, it's pronounced as me. Akume. Akume takai. Sujin no hitori. Igre no kimi. Urao no. Uro no. Yashiki da. Motto mo is an adverb. No, it's an adjective. It should be an adverb, but um, it's it it's a, so it it's an adverb. This adverbs can modify adjectives. The so the name mod, so adverbs modify adjectives and they modify verbs. So motomo is modifying um akume takai. So motomo here is saying what kind of mm. the uh motomo is like kind? most. Like, well, most most akume takai. Aigo ni. Uh, 
Ichiban. The most infamous. Hi. Infamous uh, owner, Suji. No, this is not an owner. This is a resident, a person who lives at that locale. I think it's the owner, dweller, inhabit. You're right. <laughs> Junin. I didn't catch that. Junin. Junin or Junin? Junin. It's Junin, Junin for dweller. All right, with the sumu kanji there. Junin. No hitori. And all that modified hitori, meaning right. this hitori here is it, that's a noun, right? Or is that a ver is that a verb? Toru. I'm In not the, the really sure. Word. Tori hitori is always hitori because it means one person. I would say it's a noun. Okay. Uh because you normally no. would add de. If you're turning it into a um <laughs> a modifier. So here it say there is one resident who is the most infamous in water metro. Or Hi. Let's put it another way. At yes. water met. It's exists. one of the most infamous residents. In Wurumeto, and they are called Higure no Kimi Kuro. And then he quote his name, Higure no Kimi Kuro. Kuro of the Lord of Twilight. The Lord of Twilight Kuro no Yashikida. The mansion. Okay, so everything up until now described this mansion. So I... this mansion is Crow, the Lord of Twilight, who is the one of the most infamous residents of Wurometo. Perfect. That's why there was that comma right there. In other words, it's the driving the owner. Right. Onto ni koko de ii no to Nebri ni ikitaku nata ga damate ita So Khan is asking a question. Did he? Is it really okay? Ni honto ni koko de ii no that is what honto ni kokune like, ino means. That's correct. Feels like he's saying, "Is it, is it okay to be here?" That is what the first sentence and, says. Then they say to neburi ni. Oh, it's it, but now it's modified. It say neburi is the one that. No. That just have that thought. Right? The most important part here is the verb. Kikitaku natta. It's not kita. Kikitaku natta. Kikitaku natta. Kiki is to ask. Kikitaku. But it's here it's 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 um it's it's wanting to ask. Hi. And then it's attached to naru. So become wanting to ask. Yeah. So he it came, came to, to be the point I wanted to want ask. Hi. It came to be that I wanted to ask. It came to be I wanted to ask Nebri, is it okay here? Is it okay to to is this place okay? Home to Nikoko De. De marking like at this location. Hi. Is it okay to be at this location? Is this really However, the place you want? <laughs> right, because we were talking about the destination, right? Hi. Iki. Iki suita saki wa, the destination that we arrive at. Is that okay? However, damatte ita, meaning I come to shut myself. Yep, right? I, sh I shut my mouth. Damatte meaning don't, don't speak. I, I kept quiet. Perfect. Nice. So yeah, you got to keep an eye on the verb. Because sometimes even though we got words and to not actually being said, 
kind of like over here. I'm not sure. I don't think he actually said tweet the quote. Though he might have sent this in quotation marks. But there's no quotation marks here, which makes it really obvious he's not saying it. Because if someone talks out loud, there should be quotation marks. Right? What do you want to stuff? So no quotation uh, marks uh, was a big hint that reason, he's not actually saying it. Money, the reason you say sweet that Koi might have not been spoken out loud is because Isueo Urinagara, meaning he right. could have just waved the stick. Yeah, to mean that. In the way it's, as to say come. It it could be either, but normally if someone's talking, you're gonna have the quotation marks and you're gonna have some kind of not a weird verb. Like for example, we had kata o sukumeru to being like something not that long ago, which I'm uh, or urusai and stuff, but I'm not sure if those were in quotation marks. I should investigate it at some point. Anyway, it is our halfway point. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll see you in two seconds.